hello good morning welcome to a little life vlog slash studio vlog at this point my vlogs are just like whatever they are um i'm sure you know by now if you've watched me for a while if you haven't watched me for a while my name's alice i'm a graphic designer slash youtuber slash i own a little small shop and I recently bought a house, so now I sort of include house things. <laughs> it's a bit of a mashup of everything. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's literally just started like... It's not snow, I think it's sleet or hailing outside. It went really dark right as I was about to film, so I've actually turned my filming light on. We are going to get some stuff done today. I have a mixture of things. The one thing that's set in stone, I have a meeting at 2pm on... Uh, Google Meets and it's kind of terrifying. Uh, I've actually been commissioned for an illustration piece for a Swedish company which is super exciting. Hopefully I can share that with you like as we move forward I'll ask them but it looks super exciting so I've got a meeting about that and yeah my office is a very big mess because I filmed last week and I have one more video to film so rather than packing it all away I decided to keep it out but really it's basically just me being really lazy. I've made a huge mess. Let me show you. So we have the bag of Primark clothes that has been here for a couple of weeks because this has like filming clothes in it and things that I didn't want to tackle. We have a PR box, which was very exciting, but I don't really have anywhere to store that yet. So I need to sort it out. First filming light. We have another PR box there with my other laptop stand. My chair's sort of okay. I've been working on here. It needs sort of fluffing out, but we'll get there. Second filming light is not plugged in at the minute, but it will be. And then my desk. <laughs> my desk is chaos. So, I've got my protein drink thing. This is a Shreddy vanilla... Is it vanilla? Yeah, it's the vanilla one from Shreddy, and it's delicious. I'm going to order some more from them. Gift voucher we got for Christmas that I need to redeem. Some paint samples that I've painted onto paper, because rather than committing to having it on the wall... However, we don't like any of these colours, so I don't really see the point in sticking it on the wall. <laughs> so I've just left them here. If you want to know, this one is Everglade Forest by uh, Dulux. Is it Dulux? Yeah, it's got the dog on it. And then this one is Pebble Shore. It's a nice colour, but it's just not what we want. Then, notepad down here. We have newer equipment that I'm going to show you shortly. A bag of things that I bought the other day that I haven't put away. A parcel from Sunnyside. Hannah very kindly sent Gus. I was going to say me a bow and a poo bag holder which I'll show you and oh and I also bought these from Jessica Smith illustrations now I actually have one of her prints here I bought this like a couple years ago and I didn't follow Jess and then I realized it's hers and I, I like I follow her on Instagram and we chat occasionally on DMs so I thought I'd support and I also saw she was giving seconds of these away with every order so obviously I snapped that up so I've got a little washi tape spring garden washi tape and the pattern on it is beautiful. I thought I could use this to stick up some of the prints. My camera does not want to focus. This notepad, which is just me in a notepad. I'm very excited. A little business card, which is cute. I'm going to stick that up. I'm also probably going to stick this up. How amazing is her work? Then a print, which again I'm going to stick on the wall, which is this. How cool is this? I aspire to be like Jessica. <laughs> What else have we got? We've got more paint. These are the other two paint colours. B&Q, Kilkenny and... What's this one? Milltown. But yeah, they're too dark. Packaging that needs taken downstairs. The recycle bin. My gym bag, so I've joined the gym. Yep, I know. I'm as shocked as you are. And hey, we went on a night away and this is like the remains of the bag that I've not put away. So, basically, I'm just being a bit of a lazy slob. I do this. I have phases of feeling super overwhelmed and not wanting to do it and then I just close the door and walk away. I've been quite feeling quite flat recently so I think that's probably contributing. However, having a messy space is also contributing so I'm sort of stuck in a vicious cycle of feeling flat so not tidying my space and then my messy space makes me feel more flat. <laughs> you know, that's just how I work apparently here. Tidying the office is one of the jobs for today. To procrastinate, we're gonna clean my makeup brushes. Good morning! Are you comfy down there? Gus wanted to go out initially. He literally looked out of the window, well out of the door when I tried to let him out and he came straight back in. It's a no from you, isn't it, this weather? <laughs> You're so cute. Welcome to my bathroom floor. I use this. 
you'll have seen them all over by now, surely. Um, I was very late to the bandwagon, but it's great. I'm actually just going to use a bit of face wash. You helping? You're not going to like this. This, <laughs> this, that was not for you to sit on. He fits, he sits. I put that towel down to put the brushes on, Gus. <laughs> Why do cats do this? Sat back on the towel. <laughs> Gotta be involved, haven't you? Just a bit of productive procrastination in the morning. The sun is now out. <laughs> what? Whatever, I'm not gonna question the British weather. I'm gonna write myself a list so I don't procrastinate any longer. Who else remembers when I went to Lincoln Uni? Have you followed me since then? Pretty cool, if you did, comment below. So, number one, tidy the office. I actually want to do a Skillshare course today because I am lacking motivation, like I said. So I feel like if I do a little like half an hour to an hour course, hopefully, I'll feel somewhat motivated. That's the plan anyway. What else? I like to put like at the bottom of my to-do list like house things. So cook dinner, fold the washing, and finally relax and unwind. We can do this, we can totally do this. First up, I'm gonna have to film because if I try and pack up the equipment, obviously then I can't film which defeats the point. And I don't want to spend any longer in this messy office, it's driving me insane. Oh, also, can you see <laughs> my jeans are open? Because every time I sit down, they fit, like I can close them, but the zip opens. I don't know why, like it just doesn't, it doesn't stay zipped. I like the jeans, but they're not very practical because every time I stand up, I'm flying low. In fact, I can show you my new goodie. So Nua very kindly contacted me and asked if I would like to try anything from their range. Rangers, they have a lot of stuff. And in fact, these filming lights, which I've just shown you, they're from Nua. I bought them probably about a year ago, maybe like a year and a half ago. And they are so good. I love how compact they are. They're just very well made, sturdy. You can just tell they're quality stuff. They do like photography equipment, audio equipment uh there's loads basically just look on their website i'm already happy so this is a new tripod because the tripod i own i don't actually know where it's gone oh it's there so the tripod i own is this one and i've had this for probably about eight years <laughs> uh it was the second tripod i ever bought the first one being about 15 pounds and it fell to bits so quickly this was the second one and it's just not quite cutting it. Every time I touch my camera, it moves. And if you do photography or film, obviously you know that a, a tripod has to be really sturdy. This isn't. So when I start and stop videos, my camera moves and it frustrates me. So I think I want something more sturdy, especially because I'm thinking about getting a new camera to film like my main videos. So this one is getting retired to like my second tripod and we've got a new one, which I'm very excited about. I have been thinking about getting a tripod for ages. So when Newer contacted me, obviously I jumped at the chance. So it comes in a nice bag, as do all their things. The likes I have, have bags. And in here is a tripod. And what I like about it is that it is still pretty compact. Like this is very easily packed up for traveling. Here's my tripod and I'm actually going to use this today. So let's get this set up and I'll tell you what I think. This is huge. So this is how tall it is. That's another thing. That other tripod is too little. So if I ever wanted to do like standing footage, I can't because it's too small. I've not even set, separated it out and it's tall. So I actually won't need it full height for filming today, but I'll show you how it works. So, I presume this will make it go higher. It's got the tilt thing on it, quick release for the bottom of my camera. It tilts sideways. Is this a handle? Pretty sure that's a handle, which is pretty cool. A hook, so you can weigh it down if you need to. 
and you can tilt up and down. Oh, and it also has a little spirit level on it, so you can see if your camera's straight. Where? Oh. I was just looking for my camera. You're there. I need to I need to wake up so I actually do have this camera see what I mean about these jeans I've not even sat down so I have this camera which is the older version of the camera that I'm filming on it's a G7X Mark II I love it a lot however this one is very battered I use this all the way through uni so I'm going to switch you guys to this camera and use the less battered one for the main channel can you tell the difference I mean, you can tell the difference of how clean this camera is. Is the footage any different? I have no idea. So for my main videos, I use a plug-in battery. So it's basically like a mains charger for it. This isn't a Canon product. It's like a copy version. So if it breaks your camera, don't hold me against it. So far, mine have been okay. Basically, it's a battery. That plugs in a lot of like dslr cameras come with these like branded ones they are very expensive however i couldn't at the time find one for my little camera so i found this copy one crossed my fingers and so far it's been fine uh, maybe they do one now i'm not sure but basically you put the battery in there's actually a little slot made for when you wire them up so it implies to me that there probably is one either out there or gonna be i don't know uh, and then it plugs in just by like a usb cable and now it powers on as normal because it isn't a canon one it does warn me that it's not a canon one it says this battery isn't canon are you sure do you still want to use it yes i do because i'm an idiot and there we go it's powered by the mains so i don't have to worry about the battery dying although it still cuts off after like 20 minutes of filming but we'll just pretend that doesn't happen because that's annoying then if i fasten this is off the top of the tripod and it has a little screw in the bottom this camera not having a good time focusing today so if you put that on there and then there's a little thing underneath rather than twisting the whole plastic thing you can twist this like so the only annoying thing is if i want to change my memory card i have to take this whole base off first world problems on the top of the tripod is where this clips. If I lift this and slot this in, close it, it's now locked in. At the minute it's on its tilt thing, so I just turn this that way, righty tighty, righty tighty, and then it's locked. Sturdy. We love to see it. Now I'm actually going to move my mic because I filmed a different kind of video where my mic needed to be in front of me. However, for this video, I need it to be like in front of my laptop. So I'm just going to take the mic out. This literally just pulls out of this. There's no fastening on it at all. It's just a little like nubbin. I never know what to do with this when I've got it out. So I'm just going to put it on my shoulder. Uh, and then it just unfastens down here. So then we're going to go around here and <laughs> I love the professionalism and we fasten the mic next to me make sure it's tight and then put the mic back in the stand and then it's ready to go and then all we do is position the tripod and I could always clip the camera on the other way around and put this handle facing to me so I can switch it in fact I'm going to do that right now because that seems to make more sense that means I can just switch it from uh, where I'm sat, which makes more sense. Now I'm going to set my laptop up. Pretty simple. I need to clean my desk. I've literally got a yogurt pot on my desk. Put the adapter in. Gus is fighting with a bit of tissue paper. Under the desk, I do actually have a desktop coming up. It might be up by now. But under my desk, I have the control for the microphone. So I'm going to plug that in via USB. And then there's always something I forget the power for the laptop so in theory the laptop should be charged but just in case and so I don't have to stop filming I always plug it in I don't work with it permanent, permanently charging because it's not very good for its battery I like to literally run it down to pretty much zero before I plug it back in top tip oh my god these jeans stop I think that's it oh this light needs its wire where's the wire and these lights are actually warm and cool tone you can adjust them depending on what you're after and I point them to the ceiling so it sort of bounces off and I think other than tidying my desk that's it so I have my laptop in front of me with my keyboard and the mic my camera's here so when I'm sat down that's what I'm talking to 
I might need to change the height, we'll figure that out in a second. And then I have two lights, I actually need to move them, you can see that one of them's closer. And what I do is close these blinds behind me so I've got more control of what the light looks like. I'm just going to close the blind. And then we should be good to go. Just need to adjust the height a little bit. So the, the tripod also has this on it, which makes it even taller. So I'm going to sit down, set that up, and I'll see you once I've finished filming. Filming is done. And I've just made a print of made a print designed a print and then printed it for a video i'm not going to show you it that will be up later this month and year so it is now 25 to 2 my meeting is at 2 there's builders outside drilling they're literally they've got like a chainsaw or something and they are outside the window so i might have to relocate for my meeting um i'm sure they won't mind but what I'm going to do before the meeting, I'm going to quickly just gather some notes about the brand, about what they want to do, my ideas. I have like an idea in my head, but obviously it's a good idea to put them on paper so I can show everyone. So, wish me luck. I'm a little bit nervous for this meeting. I always hate professional style things. I feel like I'm not qualified. Um, so, yeah, wish me luck. But I'm going to gather some info and then it is nearly two o'clock, so it's going to be lunchtime. Wish me luck. Hello, you too, how are you doing? Oh, okay, meeting is done and my brain hurts. <laughs> uh, it went really well actually. There's more work to it than I initially thought, but it's all a learning process. I'm excited to get started. I've just sent off like all my information and a design contract and stuff. I'm just like staring at things. I've been sat downstairs. The, the internet started being really weird and I had to like quickly <laughs> go and sit uh, in the kitchen. And then obviously Gus thought he was going outside, so he was screaming, so I had to let Gus outside, and then he was screaming at the door. I'm like, make your mind up, mate. So yeah, that was super professional of me. So frustrating. <laughs> I should probably tidy my office now, right? I can't really put this off any longer. Finished filming, it went really well. And I have no more excuses. I'm actually really looking forward to having a tidy office. It's the process of the tidying that I'm not looking forward to. However, I'm gonna use my usual trick of filming it so I can't stop because you would notice. It has been a fair few hours. I actually managed to get my office pretty much sorted and then I had some last minute bits of work that I'd almost forgot to do but I did it. Now my brain definitely is dead. I'm very jealous of this little guy. Look at him. I want to be you Gus. You live the best kind of life. Look at that little cute boy. So I have just got a message from my editor. That's um, another video edited ready to go. I've just watched that and reviewed it. And I am actually going for a spontaneous or semi-spontaneous fish and chip meal with my parents because my boyfriend is working a long day today and I didn't fancy spending the entire day by myself so we're gonna go out which I'm excited about and actually before we go I'm gonna paint sample some more things um I showed you these colors these are gonna go like the green is for the bedroom but like I said we don't have a color that we actually like yet uh, they're just a little bit too like blue toned we want something like olivey green toned so we have this new green color this is from home base and it's called mossy green and it's a lot more yellow toned it's going to be hard to see it on camera but hopefully hopefully we'll get the vibes uh yeah these are the other ones these are much more blue toned whereas this one is a lot more yellow toned you can pretty much see that so i am going to grab a piece of paper oh that was a big yawn <laughs> and we're going to do a swatch like this and hopefully this one is actually more like what we want it to be. Oh, and this is my sort of tidy office. They're bin bags that I need to take down. The Primark stuff I'm going to sort out. I'll just put it all back in its bag. And then my laptop and everything's away. The lights are away. I have a pile of clothes here that I don't really want to sort out right now. I can't be bothered. But all in all, it's a lot better. All I need to hope for now is that Gus doesn't jump on the table whilst I'm painting this. I've already had to kick him out once today for causing a bit of chaos, haven't that a little boy? I'm hoping this has got a paintbrush underneath. Oh, it doesn't have a brush, what the heck? Ooh, this looks like bogeys. I have a brush, 
stupid that it doesn't come with a brush but whatever this i feel like could end up being too light i feel like we're gonna end up having to get like the expensive paints you know, like valspar or farrow and ball or something okay that might need another coat on the paper so far it looks a lot more lime green than it does mossy green but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt we'll see you've always got to be involved haven't you dude oh hey you tired you didn't have to follow me all i was doing was washing a paintbrush it wasn't that deep it wasn't that deep he's beginning to actually enjoy cuddles and it makes me very happy aren't you oh i love him yeah do you want me to let go of you now yeah <laughs> okay then life hack get yourself one of these things they sell them on amazon it's literally just like a stamp so bit of paper so imagine that your address is on that you just do this it says confidential and you just go over it a few times and then it's covered so you don't have to peel the labels off i pretty much have like 10 minutes to get ready is my face okay i mean it's not it's best but i'm pretty sure my makeup brushes are still wet <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I'm passable. Do you wear to a fish and chip shop that has a restaurant? Jeans? Am I gonna really regret jeans? Well, then what else do you wear? Then what? One main symptom of lockdown for me is I've forgotten how to get dressed. <laughs> Anyone else? Because right now I have no idea.